Hello, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make the mini penny shooter. You will need some scrap wood to cut on, a steel ruler, or rents, you don't need that many, duct tape, um, nails, thin nails, uh, wood glue, 16 inch basswood, 8th inch basswood, a hammer, a pencil, and an exacto knife. The first thing you will need to do is mark the pieces. You will need, out of the 1 8th inch thick um, basswood, you need an 8 inch by 1 inch piece, a 6 inch by 1 inch piece, and a 1 inch by 1 inch piece. Out of the 16th inch basswood, you'll need a 1 inch by 1 8 inch piece and a 7 8 inch by 1 8 inch piece. Now you have to cut them out. So once you've cut out the pieces, they should look like this. Um, so these, all four of these pieces are for the throwing arm and this is the main body. So first, you need to put together the throwing arm. So the first thing you need to do is put together the throwing arm. You need to glue these two pieces in like this. They're going to hold the penny in place. Once those are glued on, the throwing arm should look like this. Now you need to glue the top piece on. It goes right here. Next thing you need to do is attach the swinging arm to the main body. You simply have to put it on here and nail it in place right around here so you simply put the nail right here and hammer it in you actually don't want the piece of wood that you have um, underneath it like another piece of wood because just have like some cardboard that's like a box that way you don't hammer the wood into it hammer the nail all the way in then take it out and flatten this down a little that should be enough we can send off the point later if you need to now you need to cut two grooves into the wood to hold the rear end. One goes about here, and one needs to go around here. You don't need to make them very deep. Just and you don't need to make them very wide or deep. Just big enough to hold the rear end well. Now you need to select a rear end that stretches just the right amount. About this far is good, and it needs to be strong enough that it doesn't rip. Now. Put the rear end into the grooves. So I actually cut the grooves on the wrong side, so I had to recut them. But the rear end should look like this, so the arm can pull back and swing. So to load the penny, you put it in like this. Tap it so it goes down, and to shoot it, hold the bar a little actually facing towards you. Then you pull this back and let go, and it shoots it. Here's some videos of shooting it.